Okay. Do we start with show and tell? I, we could. I also want to think of a cute name for it. Uh, underpants? underpants? Underpants. That's better. I was thinking of something a little more crass. What? So like what were that. you thinking of? Uh, what's in your pants? I like that better. I like underpants. Underpants is so 80s sounding. Okay, underpants. Yeah. So now it's time for underpants. So, thank now you. Now it's time right. for underpants. Sorry. Okay. Okay, great. This so, is great. I brought something this week that we've talked about on the podcast. See, I think we've talked, you know, Katie, my manager, mm. who also loves to manage pants. It's her she- favorite. <laughs> 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 She always says for the last four years, mm-hmm. you guys talk a lot about things, but then you never put There's a no picture up. Through. There's no follow up. Yeah. Like you never, we never see what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So I think that would be a really good theme with underpants. Okay. Which is like, what have we talked about in the last four years? Is there a picture of it? Can you bring right. the item? Anyway, this is recent. So I thought of it. It's the, uh, the props that I stole from the Alice set. Oh, and did you bring the them? Three, yeah, it's the three, what you call creepy. Oh, God, those the three things. Ca- <laughs> <laughs> it's the three creepy little dolls that I was like, I have to bring oh, these. Oh, well, then here. I have to steal these. Hold on, let me move this. Are you really? Well, they need to be seen yeah, I so know. everyone understands the creep factor. Okay, so these were on the set. Ugh. Over, like, if you're looking at the, if, like, you were in the audience of the Alice set, they would have been on the right there was a little chair and some shelves. It, it never got used. The whole stage never got used. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Anyway, there was a little corner mm-hmm. of tchotchkes and a chair. And on the shelves mm-hmm. were these three dolls. And I walked past them all the time. I don't know the artist. They were made by somebody. So to be sure kind. Were. Be kind. I've... And they just became sort of part of my everyday life. And so at the end, Lily, our old assistant, I said, I got to get the dolls. She was like, you have to get the dolls because we were, it was like a part of everybody's life. So we put rubber gloves on because we didn't know if they were going to like fin- find fingerprints when everything <laughs> went missing. Me. You really thought they were going to walk in. I mean, in it was a joke, but we did put kit. on gloves. And we went in when the stage was dark and we started taking shit. I took the dolls and I've, we've talked about them. They're now in my guest house. They bring me a lot of joy. They bring me a lot of fear. And I was like, everyone needs to see them. Let's show them. Okay. There's three of them. And they're all a little different. They look like sprouted potatoes. Okay. <laughs> this one's broken. I shouldn't Aww. start with her. <gasps> Did you break her? She had a her? rough ride over. Hold on. She's having a hard time. <laughs> Let's... I really brought out the worst one for her. <laughs> Okay, I need to talk about the details of these dolls also. Oop, I just ripped her. Hold, please. This was a bad idea. Why? The traveling? They've really traveled you far and wide. put them in a box. box. Well, I only had a bag. Okay, I have to Here, move You got to show everyone. Okay, so the dolls. Aren't they creepy? They're made, they all have hats. They all have little boobies. See? And then, <laughs> she's broken. Wait, have her lean Where up do and, I take her to have, be fixed? Lean her up against her friend. Come here, bring Who's her. Who's going to fix her? Give her to me. Can I have be her? Be nice to her. Her I'm foot not broke. Be mean to her. Just give her to me. And then they all have <laughs> you, different. Alicia, you broke her foot. They all have different vaginas. You, I know what you do. With, made of shells. If you can get a stapler, like get and <laughs> staple that, sta- you can ha- have her held up. Truly, if I'm you not have um, staple an, her. A, an industrial stapler, I could do this for you. Industrial? Yeah, like a, not just like an office stapler, like one of those electric. Staple gun? Sh- oh, you mean with like an air compressor? No, like you can, they're electric ones you can plug in too. But if you were to staple that, she'll stand up straight. Understand? I feel like it's her right leg that's really. It's, well, she's, she's not. You say, yeah. Anyway, every if well, you she, can see, she, everybody has a shell. The, is she always like a lean? She's all, hey. hey. Is she always like that on a good no, day or is she upright? She's more like this. <laughs> she's more like that. Yeah, that's how she started. So they all have shells. And then doesn't look here's like she's the checking part out that her, I never. Doesn't it look like she's checking out a friend? <laughs> it looks like she's listening to what I'm saying and she's watching. And then they all have little beads on strings that I get. I don't know if it's supposed to be pee. I don't know what it's supposed to be. 
Um, do I should I show this more into this camera? We zoomed in. Uh, There's this, which I don't know what it's. I don't know the point, but I thought they were fascinating, and now they live in my guest house, and they scare Kate. They do. And I brought them so everyone could see because we had talked about them. We did talk about them. That's good follow through, Leisha. Like who likes playing with dolls? I just wonder. Can't there let... we go. They're making it. There. Anyway, I was just trying to get her to stand That's up. That's my straight. first show and tell. Nice job, Leisha. I respect the artistry, but they do creep me out. I think they're creepy looking. This could be a local artist that's watching this right now. Like, with all due respect, yeah, it's subjective, right? Like, art. Yeah, it, yeah. it creeps me out. Okay, doesn't maybe mean it's intent. bad. Yeah. It's oh, just, maybe they maybe, do, the maybe they made them to creep you out. Right. Maybe she was like, "Yeah, I want people to get, do a double take and say, what is that?' Because that's what I do. Right. They look like potatoes that have sprouted. <laughs> sprouted. And. Um, you That's mean when a potato like. when a potato if you leave it on in the basket sprouts. too long and it gets the little nubbies? Yeah, they look like sprouted potatoes. Dirty sprouted potatoes. <laughs> I can't, I'm not that far off. I can let him go. I'm sure I mean, somebody I'm, understands. I'm sure someone understands. I would have always wondered like where'd those weird little dolls go? Yeah. You know? Just as like this is the kind of stuff that is that fills our sets, like random items. You had better stuff. I, I I took a lot of jewelry dishes and a coaster set that's sitting at my at from, home. From where? The bar? From, from Shane's bedroom. Oh, bedroom. It wasn't great stuff. I don't have a show and tell. I know we're going to do back and forth, but what we it's talk— It's not your week. Right, but I, I will say we talk a lot about the merch, and we always talk about how comfortable it is. And truth be told, I'm always in this when I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Like putting on normal clothes sometimes feels foreign because I'm always in my 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 pants merch just because it's comfortable. Like today, I it's all I wear, Kate. I love it, and I love this color brown, and I wear it all the time. And I would have worn the sweatpants except they're dirty because I've been wearing them a lot, so they're in the laundry. But I wore my pants merch to rep. I love it. Do you want to show the back of it? I feel like the back didn't get enough cred. You don't think so? Well, I don't know if people really saw it. Yeah. We did it like um like a construction company. Can you give it to this camera? Give oh, it to the camera, Kate. Camera. This the, one? The wide. This one. The wide, yeah. This one? Yeah. That one. Yeah. It reminds me a bit like a brewery. Am I no, it's a mind? it's a construction company. All right. Well, it reminds me of a brewery, but hmm. <clears throat> interesting. Yeah. But it's okay. It's fine. Anyway, regardless, I don't care what's on the back of it. It's really comfortable. Well, cuz you don't see it. It's right. on the back of you. Anyway, but you it's care. Very comfortable. And I like the color brown. <sighs> it's really the best merch. I have gotten into cutting mine up too now. Because I've had from like the original drop we did. Oh shit. Tell me. I'll like tell what? you this secret. What? The sweatpants. Yeah. Not the ones with pockets, the ones without pockets. Uh-huh. If what? you cut those into shorts, it's heaven. If you have extra really? lying around, I but I love a short. Do you like shorts? You don't like shorts. I'm not a short. Well, you girl. only show me you in shorts. You only come to my house in shorts. Yeah, but you don't do it in the world. It's not my thing. Okay. Well, I suggest. Yeah. I recommend chopping them up and making just them shorts? one pair, not all of them, because we still need our sweatpants. What about the long sleeve shirts? I haven't. No, I I either get the t shirt or the long sleeve. I haven't cut the long sleeve. So I don't with, see a point. Okay. Why to do this? Mm -hmm. Could do that. That's no? more you because you're like a you work out maybe. <laughs> are you like <laughs> what are you talking about? Like you need your arms. Not Josh straight. Brolin from the Goonies. <laughs> what are you talking about? You are a little. No, I'm not. Kinda. <laughs> not at all. You I'm don't talking do anything about to the sweatshirts only. The I sweatpants. haven't yet. Okay. You said long sleeve t shirt. Are you talking a sweatshirt or t shirt? Sweatshirt, different. t shirt, whatever. Different. Well, Mine is they have long sleeves. You don't do it. You didn't do anything to them. They're they've stayed. It, cutting up sweatshirts isn't my thing. Okay. It's not my thing. I either. might try it now. No, I don't do it. I don't cut up sweatshirts usually. Do you cut you cut things? I feel like I've seen you cut things cut up. Cut up t shirts a lot. T shirts. Like so if a t shirt I don't like t shirts that are too long. So they have to be 
at a, they have to be a certain length. And if they're not, if they're too longer than that, I'll cut them to that length. What's the length? I, I'm happy in a 24 to 25 inch range. No, I length. need like <laughs> from shoulder. To... I don't have a measuring tape with oh. me right now. What like more want? in like a. If you could just show me, like to there. Like, like right by your hip it's bones? A, it's a 24, and 24 inch. Do you tuck it in or do you just leave I t- it? No, it, I'll tuck it in with certain pants or I won't. Point is I don't like super long, but I also don't like Because what are you going to do with all that material? Precisely. So that's why where I cut it. Where do you put it. it? That's where I cut it. And I have a really good pair of scissors at home. So do I. That a good pair of fabric scissors is key. And they're only for fabric. Go to Jones Fabrics. Yep. Go to Jones Fabrics. Get yourself a pair of really good scissors. It's right. And you can do anything. You're like, I, what am I, a seamstress? I, that's a pair of scissors. I don't, it, don't only go for, in your drawer and get a pair no, of shitty office it's, scissors. No, it's no, not no. the same. These scissors I only use for cutting fabric. Only fabric. If somebody grabs them for paper, Mm-mm. they're dead to me. I hide those scissors. So do I. Because I don't want anyone to touch them. <laughs> They'll take off a tag like it's no. like butter, hot, like oh, yeah. off, hi, oh. hot knife through butter. You could just go, yeah. Cuts right through it. Ugh. Like you're like, like your, two little razor blades. It's yeah. heaven. It's In so fact, funny. I didn't know you did that. Oh, yeah. I've been doing that forever. Oh, yeah. It's like my scissor. Don't touch it. Don't look at it. You never saw it before. It has nothing to do with you. It's just for me because they're going to get fucked don't up look otherwise. At my scissors. Don't look at them. Where do you keep them in the house? I have a little sewing kit. Yeah. And I keep it in a sewing kit box in a shelf in my, in my, in my, in my room, my office. And don't touch it. I almost got, you know how I got you a master class? You almost got me a sewing kit? No, I almost, I, it was. Sewing machine? No, no, but this what? is sort of what I'm talking I It was between, I don't know if I should tell you oh, because just I tell might me. get it. You, no, I might get it next year. Well, I'll tell you if it's worth it or not and I'll forget. So what I is did want to know, here's the thing. It was a class. Oh, was I going to learn, take a sewing class? It was something specific. What is it? And it was so good. What is it? Tell me, tell me. And Kim said to me. I don't know if she'll go. What is it? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, fuck. Come on. Because I think it's so good that I have to get it for you sometime. What was it? But you have to, I had to pick a day and a time to buy the class. And then it was like downtown. And it was a whole, it was like, is she going to go? Are you going to go? Or are you like, I can't, like I pictured you maybe two days before this class was going to be, you know, coming around. And you like turned it on like, fuck, fuck, I got to go downtown. And I was like, oh, she's going to, it's going to become a thing that she doesn't want to do, even though secretly she would want to do it. What is it? What was it? Tell me. Really? Yep. You sure? Yep. You don't want it next I'll, year? I'll forget even if I'll completely forget. My birthday. I can't do it. You have to. Oh it was a, It was a sneaker, like a. Uh, Making your own sneaker? Yes. Do I get to keep the sneakers? Yeah. But really? it's it's only for sneakers, and it has, like, professional sneaker Fuck. designers that do this. What's it called? Sneakers. When you're a sneakerhead. Sneakerhead. And you do a... Drop? Yeah, but you do your own... Customization? Yeah. And it's only for that, and they have all the... They have the, they have the sewing machines, the really? leather, and they have the... And you make your own sneaker? You do your own thing. Fucking or you bring hell. a pair of like certain kinds of inspo brands. Uh-huh. No, but you can bring designs and then you walk out like And it's a four and it's a four week class? Well, the, you there I mean, there are classes that go for thousands of dollars. I wasn't gonna That's get insane. you that. I love you. But what, the, what what do you do for thousands of dollars in this you class? You learn the design how to design them, how to like Put, I don't know. It's like a whole. It's like you. Re, if, like if you wanted to start a business. Yeah. Like if you wanted to launch a sneaker line. Mm-hmm. You could build the brand there, and then by the time the class was, it's like a school. That was more like a. That sounds like a, a school. couple of months or a month. Right. This was a class, right. like where you buy a blank pair of sneakers, and then you, by the end, you would walk out with your own. Damn. But I was like, she's not going to go. Because I had to get the class for like two months from now because they're all booked up. Mm-hmm. I think I've read about this before. Yeah, it's, it's, there's it a place. It is downtown. Uh-huh, there's a place. I have read about this. It's and intriguing. And I was like, I'm, it's intriguing. I might have, see, there's something in you that's like, would but, I go? Here it exactly. is. Exactly. And is I'm thinking to myself. I was like, she wants to just sit on her computer and learn. I picked master class. 
Masterclass was the See? way to go. Thank you. Oh my God. I know you so well. Masterclass was the way I'm to go. I'm so glad I listened to myself. I'm so glad you did. Although this is very intriguing and I have read about this before. You don't want to go. I just get... See? I, no, I, I just start getting into the logistics and I'm doing this thing where if someone invites me... To, it's very easy to say yes to things that are two months down the line. Yeah. So I'm practicing this habit of someone says, hey, do you want to do this thing? And it's two months down the line. I treat it like it's the next day because I because that way I'll be able to gauge whether or not it's something I really want to do. Does that make sense? Instead uh -huh. of just blindly saying, yeah. And yeah, then, and then blowing them two, off. Precisely. So I'm really trying to practice that. And like, do I want to go tomorrow? And do this really? Right. If it's tomorrow, if it's good... tomorrow, do I really want to go to this thing or do this thing? Whatever this is, do I really so want to do that? Is it? That's a great. I love it. That's a great uh, thing you've come up with. I. Is it two months only, or is it maybe something that's like two weeks away? Sure, two weeks, whatever. Okay. It's just something in the future where you don't need to like do it immediately. I'm putting it my that in my head like it's immediate. Okay. So I can gauge whether or not it's something I. It just helps me And this decide. could be anything, like a plant, anything. like come to my house for, you know, shish kebab. Yeah, and like for like, instance, do I want to do that we're tomorrow? doing, you and I are going to our friend's house this coming weekend to play. Allie's. Uh, we're going to Allie's to play poker. Right. And I used, okay, perfect example. I knew, I, when you said it, I was like, she's she's talking about something like Allie's. Well, this is Because it was weeks in advance. It was two weeks in advance. Two. I, that's why I said it. And so when she weeks. sent that group text, yeah. I thought to myself, if it was just tomorrow, would I go? And I right. decided, yeah, I would. I want to see Allie. And I and I knew everyone on the yeah. tra on the chain. And I was like, oh, my God, I'd love to see all these people. It sounds like a blast. Can't play poker to save my life, for no. sure. By the way, I'm going to let Kim play. And I'm gonna like, let every Anna time play. I play I with Allie, about, she takes my money. I don't give a fuck about poker. Let me just, like, hang out and, like, talk to my friends and eat food. Right. I'm not interested. But so I asked myself that question. If this was tomorrow, would I go? And the answer was yes. So I thought, yeah, I'm going. Absolutely, Allie. I'll be there. What else? Like, what? what's another? Anything. 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 Have you done it with me? No. Because I'm always What have always we done, Mish? Yes. What, what have we done? No, but I'm the like. Like, the holiday. I know. We haven't really socially. We haven't, like, socially done anything. I was moving. It was the holiday. Now we can. You were moving forever. I know. We already talked about that. But. But um, you were. I was. Yeah. It was a long time. It was a process. So, but now we, we make plans. Ask me that again in a week when we make plans to do Ask something. Ask you what? Ask you what? Ask me that again in two weeks. When Ask we you what? Say, is this something you really want to do? <laughs> like you're asking, like, did you do this with me? I didn't do it with you because oh, you and I haven't made plans. Yeah. Okay. Got We're it. Like, we got do it, work stuff, it. but we haven't. So ask me that. Do you miss our friendship? I do. <laughs> Sometimes I get sick of talking about work. I'm like, can't we just like hang out? And it's our fuck fault. About? Can't we just. It's our fault. We're building an empire. Kate. I know, but and sometimes I just want to dick around. What do you want to? I'll go dick around with I don't you. Know, I just what do you want to do? Dick around. Like what? I don't know. You don't like building anything anymore. You're kind of like poo pooed on that. Ahmad <laughs> offered you wood the other day, and you're like, eh, I'm kind of over that. Ahmad, I play drums now. I heard you. Don't act like don't act like you didn't say it. You said it in my kitchen. I heard you. I okay, so it's my fault. No, it's just you know. <laughs> I just want to fuck about. You're saying like what? And I thought, oh, we could build something. But she doesn't like to build what anything. What do you mean? You, What do you want to build? You never built anything. I mean, I'd ask you to come over and help You're me. fucking kidding? I built your flower beds. I cut concrete. I helped move your trailer. Are you kidding me? I see what you're saying. I moved. I I, I, helped, I helped move a barbecue. Uh, you missed station. my unemployment. Not, not just you a, missed my unemployed years. Not, not just a barbecue, but a barbecue station. That was yours. It was not mine. It was Jamie's. Oh, that one. I see what you're saying. At me about I don't help you at your house. I didn't say you didn't help me. So, I. So sure, there was a period of time where I couldn't have a snack unless I like in in unless there was unless physical would, labor involved. Right, unless prior you would actually do snack. something to deserve it. Yeah, like there was no freebies coming over to your house. I would wear right. shitty clothes because I knew they'd get ruined because oh. <laughs> I'd have to do something. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Once again, a really okay. good Arnold Palmer. So that's delicious. Isn't it crazy? Wow, Spotify. Throw down for the Arnold Palmers. Anyway, yeah, I just want to have a play date. Sometimes. I just Why don't you have invite a play me date. over? 
happily. Anna's going to make you dinner. No, not Anna. You always make oh. Anna do everything. Because you like to eat. And you're like, do you have any food? And you like Anna's cooking. No, but you're saying I want to just have a play date. Yeah. And make one up. All right. I mean, sometimes you have to just like do the thing. Okay. And then I'll come to the thing. All right. You know what I mean? If you want it, you got to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Right, Arwen? Yes. <laughs> Well, can we talk about this movie now? I, I got to publicly say it. You and I in September went to go see The Exorcist remake. That, well, right. We weren't My, allowed to talk about what we went to see. God, I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. I go don't ahead. think I'm, I'm not going to, I don't think. I don't think you're going to be alone. Go ahead. Uh, exactly. It's fucking terrible. Terrible. It was aw- It was like the worst thing I've ever seen. Terrible. But, but I had a great time with you, though. A blast. But the movie was terrible. Well, we thought it was very the pants-esque because we were like— The popcorn was good, though. I got to say, the popcorn and the Slurpee, like great There's nothing better than the movie theater on my corner. Nothing. It's empty all the time. It's great. I mean, I shouldn't say that's good. You know what I mean. Right. But it's just nice that so you don't have, like, people everywhere. Yeah. And then the recliners. Oh, it's heaven. Great popcorn, Slurpees. It's fabulous. They <laughs> used to have refill popcorn. Yeah, they chinsed point, out would, on that, didn't well, they? Well, do we really need two buckets? If you want, you should have the option. But I did just like that I, if I wanted to go refill, I could. Refill popcorn? Genius. It's gone. It's over. It was a, a phase. But <laughs> you and I went to see that because we are like, oh, it's pants. Boy, was it terrible. Terrible. You want more? I want something that do I can't figure out. Right. I don't when want, it comes I don't want to, to Supernatural, it yeah. do you think you really ever are that? Excited by the result. I mean, I think one of like the what? last ones that really made us go <gasps> was those are dead people. What Six, was it? Sixth Sense. Yeah, great movie. I mean, that was one that we all went. Yeah. Because we didn't know he was talking to dead people the whole time. That was a great reveal. That was a great name. Another supernatural. You know what's another su- well, I don't know if I'd call it the supernatural, but it's a film I really liked, and it got destroyed. <laughs> Uh, same director, The Village. Remember that? Oh, weren't they like one. Amish or? Yeah, and you think that there's this like whole thing, but you come to realize they live in a little. What was it? They again? live in this little community of a of a preserve of a, of a preserve like a preservation area mm-hmm. in Pennsylvania, and all of this folklore is just so people don't just don't like, leave. Just so it's they like realize that like there's actually a world out there. Right. They're like, don't go outside. But meanwhile, thought, there was a town nearby. Like, well, they were like they were right outside of a highway. It, that's what it was. I thought it was so utterly brilliant. I loved it. But okay, that was clever. That was a good. That reveal. Was a, that's a good one. That was a really good reveal. Um. But not supernatural. It wasn't supernatural. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So if anyone watching wants to. Oh, I watched a great movie with Jeffrey Wright. I don't I can't remember the name of it, but it's something to do with like a werewolf or he's in a, he's in another cold place. Fuck if I know. But it was it was weird and you couldn't really put your finger on it. And that was interesting. The silencing. Was that what it was called? I don't know. Are you looking up supernatural? I'm looking up the silencing. This movie. I think that's what it was called. I, I love fantasy and supernatural. Love it. I like fantasy more. Like Game of Thrones is more like Do you my... like Lord of the Rings? Arwen's named after the fairy goddess. Do you want to talk about your name? I don't. Okay. <laughs> the Liv Ta- Tyler character is who Arwen's yeah. named after. That's cool. Yeah. You know what the movie's called, Arwen? No, I can't see which one it is yet. You have, what did you think it's called? It was Jeffrey Wright. I can't remember. Do you want to talk about the Oscars? Or we should wait. We should wait. The Oscars hasn't come out yet. I know. Do you do you, you have predictions? Do you have? No, let's wait. We should, that's a that's a very seasonal thing. That's seasonal. Did you I, watch the Emmys? Watch the Emmys. And did I love, you care? Did you like it? I I I love I O. Yeah, the girl from the bear. Have you seen Bottoms yet? Not yet. Kate. I know. I'm sorry. If you like her now. I love her. She's and that dress she wore was, ab- I was like, is that a leather Gorge. dress? So that was cool. the best looking dress of the entire yeah. night. Um, yeah, I watched it. It was good. It was fine. I was looking for Coleman and Kim. I saw them. I didn't see them. They were in. The, they were sitting near um, like Ali Wong. They were sort of like diagonal behind her. They were in the second row. They were behind Ali Wong? Just a little, a little to, to the, the left, yeah. right? Uh-huh. Oh, so they were close. Yeah. 
Yeah. They had the greatest night. They had so much fun together. Yeah, I bet they were a cute date. Um, Kim looked great. She looked beautiful. I can't think of anything that happened really during the Emmys. Oh, um, you know what I was waiting for? I was like, where's the Facts of Life gang? If they're doing all these throwbacks. I was going to say, did you? Where's Nancy McKeon? I was going to ask you, did you like the throwback part? Yeah, but I wanted Facts of Life. I wanted, I wanted... I wanted the girls that are around. What are you looking at me? Like no, that? I was just thinking, like you know, that kind of. T- I felt very sentimental about it. That that those great TV shows, we don't see them anymore. They just did Cheers. They did. Um, Ally McBeal. Allie, loved Ally McBeal. I was like, God, I used to love Ally McBeal. Um, Martin. Right, but all these series, and I thought, where? Why isn't? Facts well, I think there was here. only so much they could fit in. And where's Beverly Hills 90210? Dead serious. Okay. I know you are. They're I'm missing not... out on certain things. There are I certain mean, they... shows where I thought, eh, they should have put this there instead. Yeah. I don't know who decided, but I thought I thought it was a sweet like sentiment that they brought back to like, was... classic television. I mean, it was the best. I was like, well, because Norman, hope... you know, know, Norman, Norman Lear, Lear died, so. But I hope that like... Oh, the I Love Lucy. They did a thing on that. Yep. With, but not, it was more, it, it was more of a bit. Cast it no was more of around, a but, bit than like a. Yeah. But I think that like for the audience, I hope that people were out there going, you know what? We should make TV like this again. Oh, absolutely. The Golden Girls. Oh, where was that? The Golden Girls. Well, sadly, know, they all So I think maybe away. this is one of the points is that well, the, they probably couldn't get a lot of the cast back together. Well, the facts of life. The girls are still around. I'm not saying they're not alive, but maybe get maybe scheduling. Oh, who wouldn't show up to the Emmys? Do you think if they I don't said no, one maybe like two people said yes and eight people said that's no? That's all you need. That's all you need. Like imagine, imagine the, our show. Exactly. I was just like going to say. Whatever. Imagine the Emmy, imagine the Emmys called and they're like they and and we hear oh I they know wanna... we never thought of you ever before, <laughs> but, but we'd love to have you on and yeah. present mm-hmm. or just represent something from the olden sure. days. Who's going to say no to that? I'm sorry. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd be there. With I'd be bells there. On. Who wouldn't? You look at me like I'm thinking. Who I'm like, who really? I wouldn't? can't think of one actor on that show who would say no to that, just for fun, for a gas. Like, why wouldn't you do it? I'm not saying the facts of life, girl. My point said being, no. I'm just saying logi- the f- you love logistics. It's your favorite subject. Well, logistically, you like to say that someone might live in, you know. Alaska, and maybe they're like, I don't have time this week to. Then Emmy say, "Cool, we don't need you. We'll go to the other cast members." I'm just but saying. then, is it the same if they're all not there? It depends on who's saying no and lives in Alaska. I would have loved to have seen them. Oh, I was kind of waiting for it to be honest. I was always thinking. What made I... you think that one out of all of the? Because I love the facts of life. Right. It was just a person. I was also looking for no to a no. I was like, if we're talking about like monumental television. In your life, sure, but just yeah. also no. I live facts of life for sure, and I and I got excited. Where do you think Blair lives, the actress Lisa Wenchel? Where do you think she I think lives? She's a minister now. Where does she live? I feel like it's in the South. Uh, Didn't she have an accent? Can't remember. I think she had a little bit of an accent. Can't remember. She may have. I think Nancy McCann lives in Texas. I just picture it like you know. Did she have one? Like, kind of, not Southern, but almost. There's a little bit of a twang? Slight. I don't know if she's a minister, but I think she's very religious. You really think pulled I read... up. <laughs> you can't call Like, either you're a minister or you're not. I think she's very religious. religious I bet okay. Arwen's checking that out right now. because She was on Survivor. She was? Really? Oh, my God. You have to watch that Did season. she do well? It's so good. Did really? She, do... she was pretty great on it. Really? Yeah. She it's did well, like watch. she got far? I think she got pretty far, if I remember correctly. I don't know if she made it to the final three. Is she religious? I'm looking. I don't remember that from Am Survivor. I wrong on that? But you might, I mean, we don't know. Maybe she doesn't want to talk about it. No, I, a closeted Christian? I don't think so. I think Closeted? She's, I think she's openly, like, like very, like, religious. Oh, wrong? closeted about her religion? I'm, Not jo- I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, There's nothing here that leads me to. Oh, wait. She was married to an associate pastor at the church on the way in ah, Van Nuys. So 
Van Nuys. Hey, she's she's, close to by. she's down the street. <laughs> <laughs> but they're divorced now, oh. and she is now married to a psychologist named Pete, and they live in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville. Hey. I was right. I was right too. I bet she's from there, Tennessee. She's from, she lives in Nashville. Where's Nancy McCann these days? Is that Joe? Yeah. Yeah. I just saw her on something. What? what? Oh, on something. Yeah. It was on this Amazon show called like the Spark or the Contest or something, but she played someone's mom. And I, my jaw was on the floor the whole time. Yeah. Wow. I hadn't seen her in so long. So she's still And then acting. there's Natalie, Mindy Cohen, and Kim Cutie. Fields. Mm hmm. Yep. Remember when Stacey Q was on an episode of. Of Facts of Life? I don't. You don't remember that? No. Stacey Q. Remember Two mm -hmm. of Hearts? Mm hmm And, uh... Two of and, Hearts. And her character's Two name was Cinnamon. That, huh? Her character's name Cinnamon? was Cinnamon. Oh, cute. Um, do you remember Molly Ringwald? Of course. On the Facts of Life? Molly Ringwald's having a resurgence, by the way. I she's know. In, she should. She's, she's our amazing. queen. But she's in, um... She's in something. Is it, uh... She's in The Feud. That's what it is. Yeah. Capote and the Truman Capote yeah. and the Swans. Yep. She's in that. Yeah, I thought it's not it, out I, yet. I don't know if it's out. All I know is that anytime I see her name or her face, I think does Lisa I still know? think we can get her on pants. Why are you raising your hand for? Oh no, this is five minutes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Arwen, do you have a question? <laughs> yes, I have a question. Can we wrap it up? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I like your little guitar patch. Did you? Thank you. Sew that on yourself? Um, no, I got this in Marfa, and that. If you, if you, if you uh, do things at the campsite, you get a patch for it. Like the Girl Scouts. Yeah. That's sweet. But they have like all different things. Like what? Like you could, you know, eat mushrooms and they have a mushroom patch or you could uh, You mean like build the psychedelic mushrooms? You yeah, mushroom? you can build a fire, you can and sit in a hammock, there's a little hammock. Do they have like a bucket of patches that they just dole out to the people? They're in the store. You buy them. Oh, and you buy the patches. They're not for free. No, but like if you did something that weekend, you know. So you played the guitar that weekend. Yeah, like so if you I, I played play guitar over a, around a fire. That's as you sweet. Do. Or somewhere. Yeah. Cute. Thanks. But you didn't sew that on yourself. No, I took it to the dry cleaner. Huh. Interesting, because you're good at sewing. I, I, I don't want to sew a patch. Why? It seems like a pain in the ass. But you have, a, you, have sewing, you have a sewing uh, it's too thick. machine. I just don't feel like it. Okay. I don't want to, if I had 10 minutes, this isn't what I would do with it. Got it. Well, thank you for sewing my pillow many months ago because... Oh, right. Well, that's, that see, that's really more helpful. of a like a real sewing job. That was really helpful. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. All right. We got to wrap this up because Arwen gave us the... The 543? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. listen, that's two. Two down. Two down. A million to go. Um... Yeah. Next week. What are we doing next, next week? week? Next week. Next week. The first uh, week. Next week. Oh, yeah. Three. So go ahead, Kate. Say it. Next week, we're going to start uh, the recaps of season three. That's right. We're going to mix them in. We're not going to just do like a block of recaps. No. Because we realize not everyone wants to hear recaps. And we realize some that- Some people want to hear them more than this shit. And, and others some feel it differently. Like, some people would rather hear this shit and less yeah. of the recaps. So, so we're going to try to make everyone happy and we're going to- Spread them out. So one right. week recap, one week us. One week recap, one week us. Right? Say that really fast. Well, it's tough. I know. It do sounds it again, like something. But go more. One week recap. One week recap. One week us. One week recap. One week us. It's a tongue twister, but that's how we're gonna do it to mm -hmm. make everyone happy. All right, everybody, pants. Pants. <laughs>